For Criminal Media's Policy, I'm Tabi Shomolikai. Joining me today is Professor Raymond Sadna, here to unpack voting and other action needed to recover our democracy, part two. Although you say you are not against voting, but you spend a lot of space on other ways of acting, and maybe you are in favor of not voting. What I'm doing is saying that voting, even if you do vote or you don't vote, it's not the only way of exercising your political responsibility, your political duty, your political inclinations. So my approach is to suggest that you have a vote, and but if you vote, you know that they're not fixing up the roads, they're not fixing up a whole lot of things. And people who are in the country who need those things like potholes to be fixed or water to be provided can do something to fix it. And you've got this being done in a number of different communities. So in this article, I placed quite a lot of emphasis on these other things as well. But I'm not saying that people mustn't vote. Everyone must decide for themselves. For example, if you have in your constituency someone who does a very, very good job. It's mainly at a municipal level that you can see it. In my view, it's a good idea to vote for that person who is setting an example of what must be done, no matter what their party is. Although, look, I put a limit on certain parties. I wouldn't say this patriotic alliance. I wouldn't vote for them, even if they seem to be doing something because I wouldn't trust them. But in the case of some parties, I would vote for them in spite of a history of not voting for them, if the local person was doing a lot. But this is not a local government election, it's just provincial and national, but you make up your mind. And the various examples you give of actions besides voting do come from people's power, but also other actions from people unaffiliated to political organizations. So how do you see this interacting with conventional or normal politics? You know, when... Uh, gift of the Givers or informal groups or this DA mayor in uh, Mugeni, I think it is, uh, Chris Pappas, start doing things that are supposed to be done by the government. It gets publicity. It embarrasses the ANC or whoever is the government, and it puts a pressure on them. In a sense, when you do things on the ground, you're putting pressure on the government of the day to do its work which it's supposed to be doing. So consequently, that's what I see. There's a, an interface. Uh, there's a, a constituency that is doing things that breathes down the neck of the powers that be. And lastly, Raymond, with elections later this year that may have decisive changes, are your engagements going to help or not create confusion and lead to a lower poll? I think indications are already that there is going to be a low poll, although my sense is that South Africa taking up the Palestinian case at the International Court of Justice has created a massive surge of support for South Africa in the global south, but also not at government level, but also amongst um, the people in general in Western countries. So it may be that, A, the ANC will benefit from this, even though the work was obviously done by top uh, lawyers. Uh, however, I my feeling is that people may feel a great sense of pride and want to vote now because South Africa, for the first time for a long time, is making a difference, maybe not here, but at least to the Palestinians who are being wiped out by the Israelis. So it's really very, very commendable that this case was brought, and it was brought, you know, I've read it, it's 85 pages, and it's it's a good read, and it's very brilliantly written. I plan to write on it, but it yeah, I used to teach that area, but it's a lot of work. And they did a lot of work to make that case. And my belief is that they're going to win it They're in court. 
And it will make a difference to the international situation. Maybe Israel will not abide by it. I'm forecasting. I don't like forecasting, uh, but uh, I'm forecasting this result. But what I think is people who, who saw that South Africa did this will feel proud and maybe vote. That was Professor Raymond Sadna speaking to Krima Media's polity about voting and other actions needed to recover our democracy, part two.